The Galactic Free Press Update. The energies are building for planet-wide peace. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. The equinox energies are already beginning to build. This coming equinox represents the peace energies, which will facilitate what needs to occur now on this planet. In our last update, we shared the next step for humanity is peace. Once peace on Earth is established, we smoothly transition humanity into the transitionary government, our crafted cloakings, and the release of the technologies, and much more. We share this with you as these are real events in which will be taking place. Personal disclosure quoted from Lisa. So as I stand here before you, I acknowledge their presence here in the skies and in space. Even though I didn't have the chance to see it for myself in my own eyes, but there is so much evidence on the internet. They are coming in peace and want to help us with our ascension. Help, they're not doing it for us. I'm so happy to be here during this time and I'm so excited. Within my heart, burns the fire of disclosure, a fire that is spreading so fast it cannot be contained. My star brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to this beautiful planet called Earth Gaia, where billions of hearts will come together as one. I look upon the sky and I see cloud ships, giving them my love as they sail by, and I wonder, maybe our star brothers and sisters are watching us in that cloud. My heart sings with joy, as disclosure has begun. There is no stopping of abundance that is coming with it either. Can you feel the anticipation in the air, the happiness, the love? Welcome, welcome. End of quote. The largest planet-wide meditation will be held a day before the equinox. The focus is, be the peace. Synchronistically, this falls on the International Day of Peace, and it's exactly what this planet requires right now. Quoted from BeThePeace.com, <clears throat> on September 21st, the International Day of Peace, hundreds of organizations around the world are collaborating to create the largest synchronized prayer and meditation for peace ever. Be the Peace welcomes people from every culture, every spiritual tradition, and every political perspective to join together as one." End of quote. These waves of love being created by this meditation are going to raise this planet up in vibrational frequency substantially. Those clinging to the old energies could have an experience to get them out of their boxes with this amount of light on the planet. Mother Earth Equal Heart is on a divine schedule and is moving quickly through space towards the galactic center. She is reestablishing her place in the center of this universe as she is the heart of this universe. Quoted from Elizabeth Escher, the tide has turned. The light upon this planet steadily grows in strength. Even with the official announcement of disclosure being put off yet another time, we see more and more people responding nonetheless to the increased radiance <clears throat> that is being emitted <clears throat> by the heart flames of the light bearers. You will see sudden awakenings happening on a daily basis. First hundreds, then thousands, then millions of new seekers looking for answers, finding clues on the internet, and seeking out those who have come before them. Finding the pathway laid out before them through the strength of your will and determination to serve the light. For the way showers, it is now time to step forward into the light of your presence, to come into a full acceptance of your power and beauty. The time to doubt and dwell in fear is over. Stand tall in your light. Remain calm and centered. Rediscover the joy and creativity of the child within. Be who you are in the fullness of your love and connection with all of life. You are living examples to the ones who will come seeking answers. End of quote. 
These incoming events correlates with the current energies the planet is now aligned with, in which is planet-wide peace. Planet-wide peace is not only possible for this planet, it is indeed inevitable. We are already moving in this direction, and creation does not stop. We cannot go backward, only forward. Quoted from Jenny Townsend, The shifting and cleansing must take place with the many light workers who daily work for their higher good, and that of others are already in place. To speak to one by one or two by two impacts the impulse imprint of the role they can play as love extended and love is a healer. The course of this planet's cleanup is, as you would say, set in cement. There is no turning back. All will be resolved one way or another. Cooperation with God's plan will expedite this easier and in the highest. Recognize the light wave shifting carries power beyond what you call normal. Even with the law of attraction you all lean on could be in a process change. Nothing will be or seem the same again. Old story? Hmm. New book, new language, like stepping on a new planet for the first time, which seemed vaguely familiar, but all is new and unknown. This is not meant to frighten you but to prepare you for the coming. The coming for is the magic in the air, and you can't escape it. But would you want to? Not at this point. For it, and you are far too important, and you have come so far. The Jenny gets monetary, momentary sensing that whatever is coming is huge. You have no idea <clears throat> at this point. End of quote. Nothing can change the events in which are to manifest per the divine plan. We you know you can hear us say this. However, if you are awake and in love with all creation, you know we're not kidding. No matter what ego, spiritual ego, or naysayer has to say about it, we are God equal to you. And God would only speak the highest truths, as what else would there be to say? Let go of everything. Be the love you are. Be present in the moment of now. Participate in your part of the divine plan. And let's get her done and bring peace to planet Earth equal heart. Decreed by heaven, planet-wide peace is in process on this planet as decreed by the creators. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground routine.